As you can see, it can be a bit tricky. Just keep on trying until you get it. Hello and welcome to Hack Attack. My name is Jakob Hack, I'm your host and you're watching a Hack Attack episode. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the MIDI Learn function to assign your MIDI controllers to Jim Audio's Poison 202. The process can be a bit tricky and it's all in the timing. You'll realize what I mean soon enough. Now, for this demonstration, I'm going to be using the IK Multimedia iRig pads controller. But of course, you can use any type of controller that sends out MIDI CC data. The first thing we need to do is to make sure that Poison 202 is listening to our MIDI input device or MIDI output device. Well, it's going to output the MIDI in to put the first thing you need to do is to go into the settings page and if you follow my finger down here you can see that we have a midi in source selection setting and also a midi in channel setting so the first thing we're going to do is to make sure that poison 202 is listening to the iric pads controller and it's right here when we've got that chosen simply tap anywhere to close down the list in this case i'm not going to assign a specific midi channel to poison 202 Two, since I've only got one MIDI controller loaded and I'm only doing this for demonstration but it is a good practice to set specific MIDI channels when mapping controllers like this. So far so good all we need to do now is to back out of here and here comes the tricky part. To assign a controller you need to tap three times in succession and you need to be fairly quick about it. I'll try to zoom in and show you. So if I want to assign, let's say, this knob on the iRig Pads controller right here to the cutoff right here, I need to tap it three times. One, two, three. And that didn't work. Okay, so one, two, three. No, one, two, three. There we go. As you can see, it can be a bit tricky. Just keep on trying until you get it. And right now you can see that we have a blue rim around the cutoff blinking. And also, and if you take too long, it will shut down. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so you have to be very quick about it. <laughs> Jim, could you give us a little more time to do this? I'm going to tweak this knob now because right now it's waiting for a MIDI input. And as soon as I do that, we can see that the cutoff knob is moving. If you look here, you can see that the right button is also blinking. So press it and it's saved. And now we're able to move the cutoff knob right here using this knob on our MIDI controller. You have to be fairly quick. Let's do one more. One, two, three. There we go and then just pull and press save. Nice, very nice. But there is a catch. These functions do not carry on through when you load up Poison 202 inside a door in audio unit mode. You're gonna have to redo it. So one, two, three, tweak a knob and then press right. And there we go. But once you've done that inside a project like this, you don't have to do it again. So if I open up a new MIDI channel, I go into the instruments tab, open up another audio unit version of Poison 202, then our controller is still assigned. There you go. Thank you so much for watching. All comments and ratings are very much appreciated. I've also got a Patreon page, so if you want to support creativity and good content here on YouTube, then why not join up on Patreon? Now, if that isn't your cup of tea, then you can always share my videos and uh, and press the press the thumbs up, I guess. If you want to see more Poison 202 videos, then press the box to the left. Otherwise, you can always press the box to the right, which contains all of my Hack Attack episodes, a big blend of reviews, tutorials, guides, and more. As usual, I wish you a very productive week. Now, go finger all of your stuff and have a lot of fun doing it.